Nick Knowles enjoyed a steamy kiss with his girlfriend Katie Dadsey as they enjoyed a romantic dinner date in Mayfair on Tuesday. The DIY SOS presenter, 59, packed on the PDA with the mother of two, 31, as they enjoyed a cigarette break outside their chosen eatery before heading home in a taxi. Nick, who split from his wife Jessica Rose Moore in 2016, made his first appearance with girlfriend Katie in September 2021, after ending his romance with PR guru Emily Hallinan, 27, in February 2020. Nick cut a dapper figure in a smart navy blue blazer and jeans as he left the restaurant with girlfriend Katie on his arm. The pair were seen leaning in for a kiss as they took a cigarette break before jumping into a waiting car. Katie, who reportedly met Nick at a playgroup, put on a leggy display in a sparkly pale pink mini dress as she joined the broadcaster for a dinner date. It comes after Nick revealed in February 2020 that he was single again after splitting from his girlfriend, PR guru Emily Hallinan, 27, insisting at the time it wasnt the end of the world and announcing the news on Valentine's Day. Having made something of a reputation for himself with his love of younger ladies, Nick was also romantically involved with Towie star and stuntwoman Pascal Kramer, 34, back in 2017. According to The Sun, Nick and Katie made their public debut as a couple at a restaurant in Bath last year, after being friends for several years. The presenter allegedly met his new girlfriend at a playgroup attended by his youngest son Eddie, 7. A source said, Nick and Katie have known each other for a couple of years, but it's always been platonic. They actually met through their youngest offspring and went on a few playdates as pals, before romance blossomed. Katie is a beautiful woman, fiercely independent and just Nick's type. They've met one another's friends and, although it's early days, everyone is hopeful this might be for keeps. Mail Online contacted representatives for Nick Knowles for comment at the time. In February 2020, Nick confirmed that he was single again following his split from girlfriend Emily. He wrote on Instagram, Happy Valentine's, and if you're single like me, don't worry, we don't have to join in everything every year. I missed National Prune Day too, because it's not the end of the world to be single for a while. The pair reportedly began dating in 2019, after exchanging a series of messages about a work opportunity on Twitter, with Nick telling Emily to get in touch. They had been spotted together several times since, once in London's West End where they went to see musical Everybody's Talking About Jamie, days after Nick was pictured kissing a mystery blonde in the back of a black cab. A source told The Sun at the time that the pair looked cozy during the West End show, saying, they arrived pretty incognito but were definitely on a date inside. She was cozying up to him during the show and they shared a couple of tender moments during the emotional parts. The source added, it didnt appear to be a serious relationship but it's clear that they were into each other. Prior to his romance with Emily, he was reported to have dated Pascal. Things turned sour however, when model Pascal claimed she blocked Nick after he reportedly bragged about his revolving bed and dating younger women. She alleged that the twice-married DIY SOS host was desperate to get his leg over when they went on a few of lavish dates in 2017. He tried to kiss her before the starters during a £600 meal and embarrassed her with his dad dancing in a nightclub. Nick later hit back, branding the one-time Towie star a sad fame hungry nobody, with his pals issuing a scathing statement about the brunette beauty, who later hit back. Pascal strongly denied the claims, saying, I don't take too kindly being referred to as a sad fame hungry nobody. 
she insisted the allegations were incorrect. Prior to his Pascal fling, Nick and Jessica's romance and marriage was also widely publicized, with emphasis on their age gap. Nick began dating Jessica in 2009 before they tied the knot in 2012 and welcomed their son Eddie in 2014. They split in 2016 initially amicably, as he supported her through her battle with cervical cancer. Despite a bitter divorce battle surrounding the custody of their then three-year-old son Eddie, the pair are now back on good terms with one another, with Nick recently admitting he still cared about his former wife. Speaking to The Mirror in 2018 Nick said, It took me a while to figure stuff out. I'm really proud of the fact that Jess and I are really good, Shush is a great mother. Coming out of a marriage is hard, so I just want to make sure it stays respectful. I really care about my ex, Shush has got a new chap and I'm really pleased, they seem really happy. It was revealed at the time that Jessica asked for £48,000 a year from him in light of the bitter divorce battle. According to The Sun, Jessica who was receiving £4,000 a month as part of their settlement, is demanding an extra £2,000 a month in order to fund their three-year-old son Eddie's education. Nick is distraught that Jessica has made these claims, she already gets £4,000 a month from him and he's funded her life for years, a source told the publication. It came after Jessica posted an open letter about my divorce in which she alleged years of emotional cruelty, physical abuse by her husband as well as reportedly withdrawing their son Eddie from private education. However, sources close to the DIYSOS presenter denied the allegations, saying he only wants the best for his son. In a statement on the microblogging site, she denounced his denials of cruelty and continued to suggest that he has withdrawn his financial support for their son. In the equally emotional letter captioned, in response, Jessica responded to Nick's apparent shock at the horrendous allegations made, saying, Nick may be intelligent but he is not smart. He is now denying that he withdrew his promise to send Eddie to private school but it was sent by his solicitor to mine. He is also denied years of cruelty but I do have diaries and photographic proof. Jessica then alleged that the presenter abandoned her with young son Eddie in Spain for a string of girlfriends, and that she wants Nick to keep his promises or she may publish witness statements that could confirm her allegations. Nick had two children with his first wife before their split in 2000. Little is known of his romance with beauty therapist Paula, although the couple share son Tyrion J, 23. The two presenters met on the set of BBC's City Hospital soon after his split from his first wife and went on to date for three years. Nick began dating Jessica in 2009 before they tied the knot in 2012 and welcomed their son Eddie in 2014. They split in 2016 initially amicably, as he supported her through her battle with cervical cancer. Following her recovery, they debated reuniting but split for good in December 2016. Things later turned nasty, with a war of words between the pair. Jessica accused the star of abuse in an explosive open letter on Twitter. They also became locked in financial wars when she asked for more money to provide for their son which led to further heartache for the pair however they later resolved their issues. Things turned sour however, when model Pascal claimed she blocked Nick after he reportedly bragged about his revolving bed and dating younger women. She alleged that the twice-married DIYSOS host was desperate to get his leg over when they went on a few of lavish dates last year. 
She also claimed forward Nick tried to kiss her before the starters during a £600 meal and embarrassed her with his dad dancing in a nightclub. Emily and Nick began dating in 2019, after exchanging a series of messages about a work opportunity on Twitter, with Nick telling Emily to get in touch. Sadly, one year later, in February 2020 Nick confirmed the pair had split, he took to Twitter to reveal he is single and urged his followers not to worry about Valentine's Day as he too was spending the day alone. 